Hey everybody, welcome back to Pandemic Gaga's cooking show. I'm so glad to see you. Um, we're gonna do something right quick. I've got something going on this evening. And I know you have evenings sometimes where something's going on and maybe you're having a few people over. I am uh, tonight. And so let's join in. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do with what we have. <laughs> let's get this done, okay? Um, it's just two other couples. So there'll be six of us. Um, we, we're not having dinner. We are just getting together for a Bible study and we trade houses every week and whoever's house we go to takes care of the snacks. And so we kind of try to keep it light. And so today, you know, I, I, it takes me an hour round trip to go into town and get extra stuff I'd like to have. And uh, so I'm not going to town today. <laughs> And, I, and we'd had a switch. I didn't know they were coming um, to my house until yesterday, maybe it was Wednesday night. And so, um, and I haven't been to town uh, since I found out. And that's perfectly fine because you can always find something. Uh, you need to always be able to find a little something. You can make nothing into something. And as long as you present it good, I think they might enjoy it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to show you one thing. Um, it's going to be kind of like a two-part thing. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how to make easy-peasy uh, meatballs. I am not a meatball fan. I need to try to make some sometimes. Maybe you and I will do that together from scratch. But this is not from scratch. This is from Great Value. <laughs> so here's what you do. You go to the store. Um, now, I went to the store. This was this has been in the freezer a couple of months, okay? Um, but you get some Italian style meatballs. Italian style meatballs. And you take those frozen meatballs. I just got them out of my freezer. And you cut those dudes open and you put them in your slow cooker. I don't use a slow cooker a lot, but I do use it when I make my chili and I do use it. Um, for white beef and I use it for these meatballs. A friend, dear friend gave me uh, this recipe back a couple of years ago and I really like them. She had brought them to some kind of festivity that we were both at and um, I like them. So I got the recipe and she gladly gave it to me. So we'll say thank you to Miss Mel. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go right over here I've got my slow cooker already out. It's plugged in. It has been sprayed. <laughs> We're just gonna dump those in there. This package weighs 32 ounces. So 32 ounces of Italian style meatballs in your freezer department. So we've done that. That's sitting there ready to go. And now, let's do some tucking. Do a little tucking. This pan has already been sprayed. And into this pan, we are going to put two sticks. I'll lay this over here. Two sticks of butter. I'm going to turn this pan on to just above medium. Let's get this uh, a little above medium. We'll get this show on the road. So I'm gonna put two sticks of butter in here. I'm gonna let those melt. I'm gonna let those melt. In fact, I'm gonna turn it up so they'll melt really fast because I'm gonna be standing right here with you guys. Y'all watch it and I'll watch it. Maybe. <laughs> we won't mess up, I don't know. But how have y'all been doing? Have y'all been having a good days here lately? I hope so. Hope so. Here at my house, it's sunny, but it's kind of wanting to cloud up a little bit, but I don't know if it's supposed to do anything or not. But it's still hot. I'm ready for fall weather. It's the middle of September. I'm ready for fall weather. Uh, but us three couples uh, that are, the three of us are, the three couples that will, will be together tonight here at my house, um, we've been doing a Bible study. We don't do Bible studies all the time. But um, sometimes we'll get together and say, you know, do one. The next year we may not do one, but you know, uh, we'll do one. It'll last 
five, six weeks and um, when we're all kind of available to be able to do it. And so we're doing it. Um, this year we're doing a series of uh, videos, actually, that we watch two videos. We do two a day, two a week. Um, and it's Survival Tips by um, Jeffries. No, Jeffers. That's how you say it, Jeffers. I, well, I may have already told you this, um, Dr. Jeffers. And uh, they're really good. And we all listen to the tapes or the videos during the week. And then we um, get together. And uh, they're all scriptural based, of course. And uh, we see. We thought it would be good, especially for 2020 for us. And to kind of get a handle on everything that's been going on. So, that's what we're doing. And so they're coming out. They'll be here this evening. And um, so I'm preparing a little snacks ahead of time just with what I have um, while this is melting I'll show you that I also have um, turn it down some well wow. that I also have in my freezer I had a half a loaf of French bread that's not not cut it can be cut if you wanted to but it's easier to do it with this and I've got some leftover. Remember the cheesy bread that I showed you how to make? Well, I've got some leftover cheese spread. And I've got this. So this is thawing out now. We'll make some cheesy bread and uh, cut it in small pieces. And everybody can just kind of nibble on that for something different. I have uh, the meatballs that we're fixing now. I've got, I got just now got this out of the freezer. And it says... Oh, it's backwards. Sponge cake. Sponge cake. This is my, I've taught y'all how to make this too, I think. My grandmother's recipe for fun, sponge cake. Well, this is batter. It hasn't been cooked yet. It's been sitting in my freezer for a little while. I actually had two of them and I cooked one maybe a week ago. Yummy. So, I will cook that later, closer to time. But I'm getting those two things thawed out now. Um... Now I'm going to make some Hello Dollies, and uh, that's one thing I am going to make, and I do have already had ingredients in my pantry. You always be prepared. And um, so we'll have those. So we'll have dessert uh, Hello Dollies. I'll just cut them in small squares because they're really, really uh, rich. And I'll have metal sponge cake cut up in small squares, and we'll have meatballs, and... Um, I'm gonna get some veggies out of the fridge and make a little small plate of those. Hmm, that may be it. We'll see, we'll see. We'll get together later and uh, on our next video and see how we can get it all together and make it look a little nice. You know, you wanna be a good hostess. You want to, uh, you know, I'm not saying you gotta get all fancy and everything, but Presentation is everything. You, basically, what you want to do is make people feel special. That's what I do. You just want to make people feel, feel special. Now, I am getting a half a cup, one half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to put that in there. Give it a little stir. Don't want anything sticking. Then I'm going to get one cup of ketchup. And because I know fractions, <laughs> I'm going to get two of these half cups <laughs> and get a whole cup. Won't I there? Won't I, won't I, won't I? I tell you what, I have me some good schooling. So we're going to add a cup of Ketchup to the party. Every time you add something, it cools that butter down a little bit. It has to have time to come back to a boil because we do want it to boil. We're going to add one 
cup of A1 sauce. And that one is out. I'm going to shake it because it's expensive. <laughs> I get every drop out I can. There's a half cup. I'm so glad my friend showed me how to do or told me how to do this. Because it's great for, uh, you know, you can stick those meatballs in the freezer, you know, for a good six months, I'm sure. And um, so it's something you can use. Most people have A1 or, you know, I guess if you like a different steak sauce, maybe you can use that. But I don't know how it would go on these. I'd get some A1. <laughs> And everybody's got ketchup. Most everybody's got brown sugar. So, you can whip that up quick. Throw it in your slow cooker. Oh, you know, four or five hours before they're going to get here. It'll be just right. Just right. All right, let's, that come, let's let that come to a boil. Don't worry about this over here. <laughs> That's getting... Brown, that's hamburger meat getting brown for my Michael's lunch today. So I just need to get that started. It's something I've already taught you how to cook. It's at my mom's macaroni hamburger that I didn't know the name of. <laughs> We're gonna have that today. Potato. Whatever. Garlic toast, maybe. Alright. Get to boiling, buddy. Get to boiling. And remember, because you keep your counters clean before you start cooking, I had some brown sugar fall off. Well, there you go. Your counters clean is just like get it off a clean plate. That's the way I look at it. Now, if you cook with dirty counters, you got another problem. <laughs> we need to talk about that someday. <laughs> but you know, you can take these, uh, these uh, meatballs and what's not used, you can just put in a freezer bag or a freezer something container and stick it stick them in the leftovers in the freezer and then next time somebody says you know we're coming over i'll be there in a few minutes well pop those dudes out and warm them up right quick you'll be ready to go or you could add some mashed potato cook some mashed potatoes and let the meatballs be your meat have a quick little meal whatever you want to do whatever you want to do we are patiently waiting for this to um, boil. Get all those flavors mixed in there good. Oh yeah, it's starting to boil. I've got it on a dot above medium. So we've got two sticks of butter, one cup of A1, one cup of ketchup, and a half a cup of brown sugar. And it's all been in in this pot getting very warm mixing together and once it starts boiling I'm gonna pour it in my slow cooker over the uh, frozen meatballs pop the top on and uh, let it cook three four five hours I'll, I'll put it what I usually do because I'm now that I'm home all the time and stuff um, I'll put it on high and leave it for 30 or 40 minutes and then I'll turn it down on low and let it slow cook <laughs> for as long as we want it to and uh, that's what I usually do you know if you're gonna be home gone just put it on low and let it rip it'll be fine 
I would cook it on high for very long um, simply because you, oh, it's boiling. Simply because you want all these uh, different things that we put in this sauce to marry, to um, get in there and blend together good and take its time. And then you also want it to soak into those Italian meatballs, which really will give it a yummy flavor. So, our concoction is boiling. So I'm gonna just take this over here and we're gonna pour it in. Y'all ready? Maybe I'll get on this side, y'all see better. Those meatballs are saying, mmm, warm and cozy. I'm gonna leave that on high. I'm done with the meatballs. I'm gonna leave that on high for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna turn it down on low and I'm gonna forget about it until closer to time for them to get here. And then uh, take a bite, <laughs> eat one and see uh, what I think. And if it's good to go, then I'll just turn it down on simmer until I'm ready to um, plate them. And you know, you can take a toothpick and stick in them and uh, that'll be a good finger food. Um, if you're gonna be having forks anyway, you can just dip up the, the uh, meatballs and they'll have a fork to eat it with. So, um, you know, and you can get fancy toothpicks. I have some fancy toothpicks. You can get these or something similar anywhere. So you might have little fancy things on them. <laughs> so if I want to get fancy, I'll put these on them. I probably won't. But anyway, that's your meatball recipe. You can eat on it for two or three days if you want to. And um, freeze them, like I said. Reheat them. Add some mashed potatoes or whatever folks you boat. Might want a sweet potato. And um, you might want broccoli. I don't know what you want. I'm not very funny today, am I? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, you'll have a good day. Have a couple friends over. Don't get all been out of shape over it. See what you got in your fridge and see what you can do. Uh, just tell them, say, hey, come on over tonight. We'll hang out. Play a game, not play a game, yeah, whatever. You just fix some different finger foods and we can just graze all night long. <laughs> then clean out your fridge. <laughs> just present it nicely. <laughs> and um, you'll have a good time then. But be a good hostess. Our Lord wants us to host people. That He wants us to um, lift people's spirits. And so we can do that. We can have a Bible. You can have a Bible study in your house. Just find two or three couples or friends or whatever you want to do there. And just say, hey, let's do this for six weeks. Uh, and then, you know, go on about your business. Sometimes we do it and we all, we eat at everybody's house. Sometimes we do it and we, this time, it's just simple finger food. Um, whatever anybody wants. So um, just do something. Do something something. Don't spend a ton of money on it. Um, don't spend a lot of time on it. Just do it, you know. Just do it and relax and enjoy and let that iron sharpen iron as you fellowship with um, other children of God. You can even mix it up and invite different people. <laughs> Just have a good time, y'all. Just have a good time and share the good time with others, okay? I love you. You have a good day, and I will see you next time. And remember, next time, we'll see how this all sets up, okay? Love you.